And what's up guys, let's our final draft breakdown. Our final divisional breakdown draft or whatever. We're gonna be AFC South. As always, alphabetical order. Let's do it. Houston Texans up first. They selected Ras Ras Ross Black Luck, who is a very good defense tackle, third best one in the class. This is a B I don't know this one a B plus. He's gonna fill a hole. They lost with DJ Reader. And if Jamie Watchers are in, it's another hole he can fill. He's a good pass rusher, good run stopper, he's a lead great player. It's a B actually A minus. A minus. I think that's for him. He's gonna be uh, well should I explain more about him? He's 290, so he's a little smaller. He's not gonna be like a nose or anything. He's probably gonna play DM for them actually. And he's a good run defender though with his uh size for a deep tackle. And it's just overall really nice. He's a good pass rusher as well. He's just a good player. It's gonna be fun to watch. And Houston. Yeah, with him being with JJ Watt, they're both the same. I'm pretty much the same size. Big weight less. Anyways, Jonathan Greenard in the third. I don't really like this pick. I think they could have gone much better with this. I just want to see minus. Greenard's okay. I just don't think he's as good as some of the guys that are on the board at this spot. We'll see. He's a developmental guy. I just don't really think it was a good way to use their third round pick. Give it a C minus, D plus. Next, they took Charlie Heck, a six foot eight tackle from North Carolina. I just want a C plus. I don't really know a lot about Car Char what, Charlie Heck. I don't know much about most of the line, really. But I think he's an okay player. He'll be fine. He's probably just going to develop. Although, he just paid Laramie Tunsil, so mm, but we'll see if they play a right tackle, I guess. But he's just going to develop, though. The next, we got John Reed in our fourth round pick here, 5'10 from Penn State. And he's pretty speedy. He might play in the slot, might play a little bit outside. We'll see. We do need corners. I think it's a decent pick. Give it a B. I like the pick. I like John Reed. And then finally, they took Isaiah Coulter in the fifth round. And I actually think this guy's a pretty decent player here. 6'2, decent speed. He has nice deep ball skills. I don't think he'll be a nice player. I'm going to this one a B as well. Overall, I think the Texans get a solid B for their class. Bill Bryan didn't completely bomb it somehow. I think Greener was a pretty weak pick. But other than that, overall, just a bunch of Bs, really. <laughs> the next, the Indianapolis Colts, which has had a very interesting draft line, didn't it? First, their first pick was in the second round because we took their first round pick for the Forrest Buckner. But anyways, the Colts, they got Michael Pittman Jr. from USC. I was kind of surprised that I took him on Mims. I forgot Mims as far as he did. But Pittman's good. It's a B plus to me. And obviously, they had T.Y. Hill. He was a little injured. All right, he was a little injury, injured last year quite a bit. He was injured quite a bit last year. I, I can't talk anymore. It's 3 a.m. I, <laughs> I recorded all these back to back to back to back to back to back to back. It's crazy. But Pittman, he's a great receiver. He's good speed for his size, 6'4", 223. Great hands, great size. He's going to make a bunch of plays deep. He's going to be very good for Rivers, for set, or <laughs> Ethan throwing to win. Fun for uh, the throw, too. <laughs> next. Oh, I just spoiled a pick. Oh, no. <laughs> Anyways, next. Jonathan Taylor. This is an A. And I know. Okay. It's not an A. It's a B. Because Marlon Max on the team, I know he's probably not going to come back. Obviously, he's not going to come back now that have Taylor. And Taylor, he does have a fumbling issue. But and Taylor's obviously extremely talented. He's probably going to end up being an A quality player for the Colts while he's there. But just in the spur of the moment, I'm going to say B. Plus. I'm going to say B. Plus. I changed that three times now, but I'm going to say B. Plus for jo Jonathan Taylor. He was, he was A nice if we wanted, but I'd give him B. Plus. Because I'm stubborn. <laughs> and then they got Julian Blackman. This guy's a steal right here. If he wasn't injured, I think he'd be a top five safety in this class or top five taken in this class he's from utah he's an amazing he's good speed like just overall just decent like all speed straight line speed he has nice coverage skills good run support as well and actually he's gonna be a really nice player we got our one at a and then they take jacob eason ah uh, i really wanted the colts get jake from i'm gonna give this one a d I don't like Eason. Actually, no, since it's the Colts, they have Rivers, they have Brissett, they're going to be developing this guy. They give it a C. Now, he's obviously, he's this huge project. He's just a, basically, I think he's basically Herbert. I, 
think Herbert and Easton are extremely, extremely similar to each other. They're a lot closer than most people think, but Easton, I think he's a good guy. I think this is exactly where Herbert, or Herbert earlier, like round, round two or three for Herbert. Like Easton, this is a, like a perfect landing spot. Perfect, honestly, it's just a perfect round for him. But with Fromm on the board, I think this is, they should have gone Fromm. They just want to see just because from, if, it, if from went like in round three or round two or if from went before that pick basically then that would probably be an a honestly but with from there c i'll talk about from later uh wait i already talked about from never mind because he's a bill anyways danny pinter here to the or from ball state he's a guard i don't know a lot about him but play tight end. He switched the offensive lines. That's interesting. He got really big, obviously. He's at 306. I'm assuming he wasn't a tight end at 306. But obviously, being a tight end, he's going to be athletic. He's going to be decent, like, agility wise. And he's going to, I think he'll be a nice player to develop. And so I'll give that a B. Next, you have Robert Windsor, another player I like, a defensive line. And this one, a B. Plus. Got him in the sixth round, which is a very good money, which is good value, in my opinion. He's a nice pass rusher. Obviously, he's not going to be the best run blocker. He's a little small, 290. Okay, he's more speed, speedy. Or, like, athletic, agility type guy. Excuse me. But he's going to be a very nice player. I think it's a B plus, as I think I said that already. Then they got Isaiah Rogers. He's a little thin at 170 pounds from UMass, a school that nobody cares about. <laughs> uh, he's a cornerback. And he's probably pretty much just going to be a guy that probably a returner, really. He's a speedy player. He'll be fine. We'll see if he's a uh, compete uh, corner. And then the Colts draft Desmond Patton here. With the, they have back back face. They have Desmond Patton. He's a tall guy. Speed. That's a big play guard, pretty much. Not big, amazing. That's a B, in my opinion. I don't know why I said our Rogers, but it's C. Plus. And then Jordan Glasgow here. Not Glasgow. I swear, there's like four Glasgow's in the NFL now. And I've never heard anybody named Glasgow outside the NFL. But this guy's walk on from Michigan. He's on linebacker safety. He's pretty solid with Cliff Hudson, but just worse at everything, pretty much. But we'll see. He's not anything special. It's probably just play special teams. Actually, I just realized they had three straight picks. That's insane. But that that's a C. I don't know if nothing special there. The Colts overall, we had that draft. I'm gonna give it a B. They had some nice picks. I don't know. I think it's just probably like average. But I like how B is an average to me. It's kind of weird. I feel like I'm like overrating these drafts now. I just feel like everything from like a B, C, or B, or an A, whatever. Let's go to the next team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. And their first pick this is an A. This is CJ Henderson to replace Jalen Ramsey and AJ Boye. This is an A. Henderson's amazing. There are rumors that he took over Okuda. That didn't happen, obviously, because that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> but Henderson's a very good player. I'm uh, sure the Jags are very excited to have Henderson out there. Hopefully it's not passionate. <laughs> Is that way to say it? It's Jalen Ramsey. I'm just a Ram now. It makes me sad. And then another great pick for them. And this is an A-plus right here. Kevin on Chesson from LSU. And I'm I'm extremely surprised that Guacay did not get traded here. And I can't believe they didn't accept the 19th pick from Oakland. Because they from Oakland. From Las Vegas. Ugh. I live in Vegas, by the way. Fucking Raiders. <laughs> I can't believe the Raiders of all teams are coming here. But I'm surprised they didn't try to block it, but when they do, this guy's a, a fantastic replacement for him. They actually have extremely similar skill sets coming out of like college to each other. Except Jason's more like balanced. Like a worse pass rusher, but he's better in coverage and better run stopper. He's gonna be a great player. He's gonna be stud. This is uh, in my opinion, A plus like unless they never trade away Nick A and like a B plus, but they get rid of Nguake, that's an A plus pick right there. I don't understand why they didn't get him. I don't understand why they didn't trade him. Or how they couldn't get traded. Anyways, LaVisca Chenault was their next pick. This is another A in my opinion. Chenault's a very nice, he's an injury prone, but he's a very good player, great slot guy, great speed. For his ability, he's gonna be a good deep threat. He's gonna be fun to watch, I'm sure. Garner and Shoes, they're excited to have the position ball on this team. He's getting fun to watch. Oh my gosh. I feel like. Okay. 
and I should to be sure it's a Jags. Even I knew it was. I, was just, I felt dumb for a second. Anyways, next pick was Devon Hamilton. This is a C in my opinion. He's a run stopping defensive tackle. You could have gone with a guy like this later in my opinion. He is a decent pass rusher. So he is. I feel like he is worth going third round. Someone's like a D or anything. But C, I give him some C, pick. Yeah, give him pick a C. Excuse me. And then next they get Ben Bartra. I think he's a really good tackle. This is A. This is a steal. Fourth round. I think he could ground third, second round. Bartra is extremely good. They're gonna have him play. They might even. He might even start with Cam Robinson. For all I know. But I think it's a really good pick. That's an A. He's gonna be a stud for them eventually. And then Josiah Scott here in the fourth round as well. From Michigan State, he's undersized corner. He's pretty speedy though, obviously, with him being well short. <laughs> Usually shorter guys are faster. Like Trent Holiday, five five. He's love Trent Holiday. But he's probably gonna be on this. He's probably gonna be in the slot. He's gonna be five nine. We'll see what he does. Decent pick there. You get on the B. The Shaquille Quarterman is a guy I like. They went a little earlier than I thought he would actually. I actually like Quarterman. I thought people were underrated him. I saw a lot of like. I went, I did a lot of mock drafts, like for the Niners, I just do team mocks, and it's not like the seventh round, I was like, wow, but, Shaquille Quarterman, I like him now, since, I give this a B, I like Quarterman, he's a decent player, from Miami, he's a four year starter, good tackler, okay speed, he's gonna be fun to watch, he's always around the ball, I think he's just gonna be a great player, and then next pick of the fifth was Daniel Thomas from Auburn, I don't know much about Daniel Thomas. He's 5'10. He's good. Yeah, speedy. He could be a nickelback. Don't know much about him. I'll give him a C. Next, Colin Johnson. I think this is a good pick. 6'6. Six six. It's going to be fun to watch Cardi Mitchell just launch a ball up with this guy. He's obviously going to be a good guy to throw 50 50 balls to with him being 6'6. Six six. He's basically just a much worse version of T. Higgins. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta have to be the, the pick. And then they get Jake Luton from Oregon State. Another six round quarterback for the Jags. If Minshew doesn't work out, they have Jake Luton. I think Luton might actually be a nice player for them to develop. And you can see 20 TD, three picks last year for Oregon State. Obviously, it's Oregon State. And it's college. And so don't really put. Don't put stock. Okay. I just wanna talk about this really quick. Don't put a lot of stock into, st into statistics in college. Uh, especially a quarterback because you can really scheme a lot of things in college you have to watch the tape you have to make sure they're actually hitting these throws like accurately and not have like the receivers make the same money in catches or anything and you have to make sure that they're actually making some decision making not getting lucky and all that's so garbage <laughs> so obviously jake lewin is not like a first round quarterback but it's great stats you have something pay attention to conference scheme it's, it's so much there's, there's so much that goes into it that it's not just stats Alright, anyways, I like how tough about that freaking last video. This is Luton, 6'6. Six, six. Is it is a good uh prototype pro prototypical quarterback? And I they obviously want somebody behind Gardner Minshew because Gardner Minshew, as much as I love Gardner Minshew and everyone loves Gardner Minshew, he's not like necessarily a superstar quarterback yet. But maybe he will be, who knows? I hope he is, because I love Gardner Minshew. But uh Jake Luton. A decent pick. I'll give that. Actually, I'll give that one B because I think it's a really worth it for them to get a good guy. He would be a nice backup quarterback. All right. Next is Tyler Davis from T Georgia Tech. He's a tight end. I don't not know much about this guy. I'll give it a C, I guess. I, I literally don't know anything about him. Then Chris Clay, uh, Chris Clay, Clay Brooks. Why can't I say that? <laughs> from Memphis, another undersized corner. He's a former receiver. I don't know much about that. He's, I don't think he's going to do anything that special. I'll give him a C as well. So, overall, Jags did a pretty decent draft. Their draft, their early picks were pretty good. They got okay late. I give that one a B plus, actually. I think it's good. I think it's going to be great for them. Okay, I'll give it a yeah, B plus. And then the final team Tennessee Titans. Their first pick was spent on Isaiah Wilson, another huge offensive lineman, 350 pounds. And normally that'd be the biggest one you'd see, but freaking Mackay Beck didn't exist. And as Isaiah Wilson, I'm surprised he went this early. I thought he'd be more of a like mid, late second round guy, but he went to the Titans in the first, and I think it was actually a pretty decent pick for him. He is huge. I don't know if he really fits the scheme as much as you think, or as much as he, 
like someone else would. Very much at Conklin Go course, so it was a need, but I just feel like they could have gone a different direction with the skill set. But he's a good player. I like him. I'll give it a B. Next, we have Christian Fulton, who fell. I thought he was going to go to, I thought it was like Dallas Cowboy, but CD Lamb was there, so they got that one. Christian Fulton, he's an extremely good corner. This is an A grade right here. You know, this is an A plus. Christian Fulton in the second round. They, they almost went to the third round. Good size, good speed, good press, good everything. He's just really good. I have no idea why he fell. I haven't looked, but I don't know why he fell. <laughs> yeah. But I, he's just going to be a great corner for him. And with, then out with Dory Jackson, Christian Fulton, it's going to be that's an amazing duo. And the Titans look pretty good for the next year. Next, they took Darrington Evans. And obviously, at Derrick Henry, this guy, he's more of a athletic, elusive, agile, speed guy than a power back. And obviously people are probably thinking that their hair is going to come back. This would be a great compliment to him. I give this grade a B plus. This is a great compliment. I like Evans. Good player. Let's move on to the next pick with Laurel. Laurel Murchison. I probably said that wrong. But he's a defensive tackle for NC State. He's a little smaller. He's probably more you know, athletic. And I don't know, he's an okay player. You're going to see he's probably going to be probably going to be a VN at some point. Or at least in a 3 or 4, 4 3 if you can be tackle, but whatever. Nothing amazing. Let's just see. And then the best player in the draft got taken Cole McDonald. Let's go, Cole McDonald. He went the seventh round of Tennessee. He's still need a future starter. Sorry, Tano. Cole McDonald. He's gonna walk into practice. He's just gonna. Everybody's just gonna die. <laughs> the entire, or all the all the quarterbacks just gonna pass out from Cole McDonald. Was, oh my god. Cole McDonald, man. But uh, genuinely, McDonald is very nice arm strength. He takes his release is wonky. He's not most accurate. He's from Hawaii. Obviously not going to be like the best quarterback of all time, but it's Cole McDonald, so you have to love it. A plus, beautiful pick for Tennessee. <laughs> but generally, that's like that's a B. I give it a B. And then next, Chris Jackson from Marshall. My phone is dying again. <laughs> but this, thank God this last one. But Chris Jackson from Marshall, below average size. It's 5'10". It's just the run of guy again. A lot of late round secondary guys that are just being drafted to be developed in the hopeful future starters. And I'll give that one a C as well because I know absolutely fucking nothing about it. And with that, the Titans get a B. So I hope you guys enjoyed my draft grades. I would love to hear you roast me and see how bad I did at these because I know nothing about football. I don't know, whatever. I honestly did not pay enough attention to this draft. This is, a, I, in my opinion, this is one of the deepest draft classes I've seen in a long time. Guys like Tyler Johnson went like the fifth round. It's insane. And like Jake Fromm in the fifth round. It was, it was, it was an insanely deep draft class. And what a year for it to be in with all the corona BS going on. Hope everybody's staying safe, healthy, staying inside, following the orders. But I can't control you guys. If you want to go out, go ahead. Just make sure you're staying safe. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. But that'll be it. Those are my draft grades. Go Niners. That's all I got to say. And it's my welcome to YouTube, guys. Please like, subscribe, comment, rate, share. I don't fucking know. What are the things on his website? I don't know. This is fun to do, though. I really enjoy doing this. And I'll probably I'll try to make some more NFL content in the future. Probably mainly about San Francisco, but I just did it. I was doing this on every team. Uh, maybe we'll do power rankings. Who knows? But I seriously did enjoy this. Hopefully some people see it. See you guys later. Bye.